<laughs> Boris looks like he's doing a big poop. <laughs> he's doing like a poop on the couch. He's like, mm, where's the toilet? I don't know where it is. I'll just do it here. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Chloe here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Uh, so yeah, it's been a while since I posted last. I had I had a few things I needed to work out and yeah, I'm back now. <laughs> We've also got a few problems. I also had a few problems with The Sims as well. Basically because I was gone so long and I hadn't filmed anything on The Sims for a while, all the series that I've started on the channel, I'm either going to have to get the the characters back off my sim library or I'm gonna have to just stop those series because I left like the auto like age up thing so if you don't play that family for a while or you go away and you play like a different family for a bit um they like auto age up and stuff like that on their own I kind of left that setting on on my game and yeah um all those families died Katrina with all the cats from the kitty cat rescue Katrina died and then obviously because there was no other sims on that lot um all the cats basically went to another rescue <laughs> the last episode of sims that i uploaded was on we were looking at cottage living the two adults are elders and they have a grown-up daughter so yeah <laughs> that's kind of gone out the window so i'm starting back on the channel with a brand new series um i'm not quite sure what this series is going to be called yet i was thinking of calling it the dysfunctionals because um that's what this family is it's not really a family it's kind of just a group of dysfunctional adults that i've just put together in one household and yeah not really sure what i'm going to do with this series i want to kind of go down the criminal route if that's possible basically roughly i'll introduce you to them and then i'll kind of explain what their roles would be within the um within the gang so yeah let me introduce you to everyone i don't know where they all are this is the first member of the family over here we have mr griffin fox he's an adult he's the oldest in the household and basically he's like a grifter he's like a a smart con man type of character he's like he's rough around the edges you know what i mean that's griffin that's basically his character he's kind of like he's a professional thief and he kind of he knows what he's doing in the way and then we have our next character mel this is mel she's basically she's obviously the fifth <laughs> she's like the only female character that i've got in this series but she's basically the boss of the whole organization she's a spellcaster so she has magic and she basically she runs the show and it's her money that is funding is gonna fund their like criminal empire type thing and this is their this is her house and then she's just invited griffin and our other character boris who is in the basement for some reason but yeah they're kind of going to be like it's like a criminal organization boris is kind of like the um the comic relief character he's going to be the weirdo basically and we all need a weirdo in our lives but yeah let me give you a tour around the house we'll start with the room boris is in so this is going to be like their base of operations their lair um ignore the prison cell that uh, that'll probably come in a later episode I plan to basically find a, a random sim and like lock them in that prison cell and then they do our laundry. Oh, I'm evil. Who doesn't want to just get locked up and just be forced to do someone else's laundry? Obviously the computer, they've got like listening devices so I'm going to get them to go around and kind of like listen in on other sims and then they're going to like blackmail those sims and kind of get money out of them that way. This lot hasn't got as much money as my other sim families would have, kind of because I want to kind of build it up with the criminal empire and not just like use the mother low cheat all the time because when you use the mother low cheat you just kind of like you take money for granted in a way. Um, so I've kind of made it like quite techy, quite sciencey. Um, obviously because Mel our female character is a spellcaster i got a cauldron so she can do spells and stuff but i'm not completely evil okay i've left them i've gave them a toilet okay you have a toilet you have a sink calm down i'm not completely evil they also have a pool because mel basically came from money um she's kind of like the rebellious like rich girl she kind of wants to make a name for herself but not for like all the right reasons then if we go up we've got like the main home area like house area so we've got our living room area over here let me put all the lights on because for some reason they're all on auto lights so right so we've got the living room area nice big tv bar area all your like nice penthousey type things got a little dining room over there there's like the hallway i need to kind of furnish this a bit better i'm not quite happy with the way the hallway is obviously got the kitchen i don't know why there are flags on in the kitchen especially above the cooker fire hazard but i guess when you're a criminal you don't really care <laughs> oh my god 
I just forgot. I forgot to introduce you to, like, the star of the show. The star of the show. They don't have, like, a pet dog, pet cat. They've got a pet fox, and her name is Trixie. I'm trying to think of the where the, basically the farm expansion pack is set like the cottage living one is set henford somewhere in henford we live and i've put the lot challenges and it's going to have wild foxes on there so like wild foxes come and go off the property at all times so hopefully trixie could like meet someone and then they could have little baby foxes that would be quite cute as well just an army full of foxes they can help fight help fight crime i mean help commit crime you know they could steal all the chickens so yeah i got the kitchen area got the uh this is mel's bedroom as you can see she's got she's gonna have the biggest bedroom because obviously it's her house so this is her bedroom she's got like an office you know search up crimes and diabolical things to do she's got like seating area makeup area basic bedroom stuff then you go up a floor and they have a gym because obviously they're gonna be criminals they're gonna need to run away from the police in case they get cat caught yeah they got a little gym area big bathroom area boris's room boris's room is all the green is the green room and then we have griffin's room which is the blue room here yeah they're, they're kind of like griffin and boris are kind of like mel's henchmen in a way they kind of do what she tells them to do well that's at least what i'm gonna have them do have them as anyway and like like i said i like i'm not really sure where this series is gonna go i want them to kind of go down the criminal path if i can so like she's the mastermind and then those two kind of like follow her and they kind of make a gang and then you know they can blackmail and steal things from people perhaps we can look at other paths as well maybe that they you know other careers they could do maybe sciencey or stuff like that but yeah this is my family mel's asleep and griffin uh just decided to go on the computer griffin that's a bit creepy and the fox is screaming her head off that's just great maybe having a pet fox wasn't a good idea mel you know she likes to scream in the middle of the night and she needs the toilet can someone take care of the fox take care of trixie trixie is the only reason this series is existing asked to go potty there we go griffin get on that trixie needs to go out she's telling you she needs to go out i'm also gonna i'm gonna go through their traits as well yeah maybe having a pet fox wasn't a good idea that noise is horrible so like i said griffin is basically like he's like the old time he's always been like in the criminal career and his traits are evil obviously he's going to be evil because he wants to do crime he's going to be a genius so he's he's and the reason i've put him as a genius is because i want to kind of have him be like street smart in a way and he's paranoid so he's always like thinking that someone's after him i thought those three traits together could make quite an interesting character i haven't done any likes or dislikes for him yet i'm gonna let him make his own path with that way with them then boris down here boris is kind of like the comet relief not very clever character like he kind of just follows the others so yeah he's childish he's clumsy and he's a bit erratic so he's he's gonna be a a weird character he's gonna be all over the place i don't even know what what are you doing now boris boris what are you doing oh can't see what you're doing okay or maybe not he's just gonna be normal and make coffee don't get angry at the coffee maker the coffee maker's doing nothing to you see what i mean he's erratic he's gonna be all over the place and then we have mel who is sleep outside for some re who put these decorations up i did not give anyone permission to put these decorations up excuse moi civil play why did i turn french then was it french like i said mel's gonna be the boss she's gonna be like the head honcho so she's a kleptomaniac so she doesn't mind stealing a few things she's obviously gonna be a genius and she's very mean go like before I started filming this and i can't remember the traits i gave her ah yeah she had tr hang on i wrote it down <laughs> yeah troublemaker couch potato and aggressive so yeah if you want to like fitness boris you go for it my son you go for it but yeah those are trixie's traits she's aggressive she's a couch potato and she's a troublemaker so yeah she's gonna cause all sorts of hell where is she i have lost the fox is she in the basement are you in the basement trixie where are you trixie Trixie in a bush. Okay, it's saying she's over here, but I can't see her. Am I blind? I have lost the fox. Well, Trixie's dead. Series is over. What? Where are you? Oh, you're there. You're going down to the base. Right, okay, that makes so much nonsense. So much nonsense. Oh, and now they teleported. <laughs> I have a teleporting fox, everybody. A teleporting fox. So yeah, like I said, for some reason Mel's sleeping outside even though she's got a massive bedroom in the house. But okay, you do you, girl. You do you. So yeah, like I said, Mel is a spellcaster, so she kind of like... she can. She's going to be like 
I'm going to train her in magic and she's going to use her powers for evil, obviously, because they're criminals. Right, do we practice mischief magic or untamed magic? Let's practice some untamed magic at the minute and then we can go from there. She's magic. She's the Harry Potter of the group, but except she's evil. I don't get why you keep standing in Mel's bedroom. It's kind of creepy. She's your boss. And Boris just sits down at the desk. Griffin, why did you just like sit and then stand up? That doesn't make sense, sir. No, you're not making sense. Excuse me. Griffin He's inspired by whatever Boris just said. And he's going down to the basement. I think Griffin is going to like the basement a bit. Good old Griffin. He's always relying on Griffin. What is Trixie doing? Trixie's just hanging out in the basement as well. Do foxes like to hang out in basements? Is, is that a thing? She does not like you, Griffin. She does not like you. I, I need to have Mel kind of bond with Trixie because I kind of want Trixie to kind of like Mel more than the other two. Although I don't think that's going to happen because Griffin is just being Griffin. Oh, Griffin just became friends with Trixie. No, that can't happen. She has to be best friends with Mel because she's technically Mel's fox, but Mel doesn't seem to care about her fox. She's too busy. <laughs> doing that anyway moving on what are you doing boris boris B boris boris I, I know this house does smell amazing but what are you doing where are you going boris i swear to god you walk in mel's room again i swear to god i'm gonna lock that door okay that computer in her room might be a problem because they just keep walking into her bedroom she's supposed to be your boss she will probably kill you i think we got a kind of have like a housewarming party i think over this episode or next oh a random person who are you 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 and why are you walking on my land he's an elder oh and he's a grocery deliverer okay right griffin griffin i didn't want to go all the way to griffin i wanted griffin you should make friends he's a bit older than you griffin but hey you need to make friends he he might have connections to the grocery like underworld <laughs> you know what I think a rude introduction would probably suit Griffin better because he's kind of like, what are you doing? Go on, Griffin. Make us proud, Griffin. Make us proud. Why did I choose those as your winter clothes? I do not remember. Well, at least if we ever ask you to rob somewhere, <laughs> you're dressed for it. <gasps> oh, Mel just became friends with Trixie. Oh, finally, life is starting to work out in my favor. Go on, Griffin. Let's go. Let's do this, Griffin. Let's go make friends. Right, okay. Boris is taking a nice old dump. Meanwhile, Griffin is taking his sweet time to go and say hello to this guy. <laughs> Accuse of spying. Yes, he's a spy. He's spying for Tesco's. Now let's completely freak him out and go with the romance. Let's compliment his appearance. Let's be a bit crazy here. I mean, Griffin... Was it? No. No. That's great, Griffin. You make friends. What are you? Where is Mel? Mel's coming down to the basement. Oh my goodness, Mel! Are you tired, Mel? Oh. And you've come to sniff Boris. Yes, he does smell. Here, Boris. Boris, you need to get off the computer. But you know, computers are bad for you. You should relax. You should relax on this piece of pizza. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. No problem. I just accused you of spying then tried to make out with you. But don't worry about it. You're fine. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. What's going on over here? Oh my god. She's... She's apt... She, ooh. You know what? Boris. I think it's time that you, you make friends as well. So why don't you give her a funny introduction? She seems like she needs a bit of Boris. Boris, let's go make friends now, Boris. Boris, Christ's sake, Boris, what are you doing? You're still going to the piece of pizza. Jesus, come and make friends, Boris. Go make friends with the angry old lady. See? That's it, Boris. Kiss him? <laughs> joke about boogers. I mean, she seems angry. Dad doesn't look like a joke about boogers. <laughs> Boris, the old lady does not like you, okay? She's just gone. Maybe we could get Boris a girlfriend. One of these episodes, anyway. Who are you? Who are you? Lily Goldsmith, if that is your real name. Have a bit of Boris in your life. He's a lovely chap. Bit misunderstood sometimes, but he's a lovely chap. Look at that saunter. Look at that slip. He's graceful, like a gazelle. Give fake bad news. What's that spot? Trick with hand buzzer, yes. 
That is a Boris thing to do. He sees a pretty girl and just electrocutes her straight away. Tell the Jero Oofra. <laughs> she liked it. Oh, she's the she's the woman for you, Boris. There's a woman out there for you. Can you ask if she's a, like a vampire? Because I know you can ask if they're a mermaid. And then sometimes they're like, ha mermaid? What gave you that idea or something like that? Can you ask if like she's a vampire? Because if she's a vampire, that could be great for the criminal organization because the ask about hobbies and skills. No, we don't want to get to know her that way. Not yet. Ask if mermaid. See, you can ask if they're a mermaid, but you can't ask if they're a vampire. That's just weird. Mermaid? What gave you that idea? Jesus Christ, that escalated quickly. Right, okay. Boris! My man, he's in there. Okay, Boris. She likes you, clearly. What's not to love? You're just a happy little chap. Let's exchange numbers. I don't know what's up with them gloves, but Jesus. She's in there for you, Boris. She loves you. It must be that tummy. She must love the tummy. Oh, he's sending her number. Oh, he's like... Oh, and he kissed the phone. It's like watching your child. <laughs> Boris, you're in there, boy. Hang on, kiss her hand. Kiss her hand before she leaves. Never mind thinking about trains. Kiss her hand. For once in your life, Boris, do something right. You're doing well. I mean, you ain't going to be a good criminal f falling in love this quickly, but... I mean... You can have your first kiss now. Really? Oh, Boris. Oh, you're adorable. Honestly, was not seeing Boris as the ladies' man. I was seeing him more as the comic relief. But hey, he's the ladies' man now. I thought Griffin would be more the um, womanizer, but he's just hanging out in a jail cell. Why are you hanging out in a jail cell? Can I can I ask? Right, you're washing your hands. Okay, fa fair enough. Fair enough. I'm not going to question you anymore. Mel, what are you doing? Washing dishes. Great. Great. Well, this has been a weird first episode. Okay, and now Boris is alone again. But that's nice. Boris has a girlfriend. <laughs> and he's just moved in. That's great. <laughs> and he's talking to himself. Great. Uh, Lily Goldsmith, I'd run now. Because he's, he's kind of a creep. What's Trixie doing? Oh, Trixie, you sly fox. You're down in the basement again. Oh my goodness. Why are you in the basement? Right, he's here. Right, okay, you're playing a game, right? No, you need to do some criminal activity here. I think I need to get them in the career. Um, find a job, no. Uh, wait, find a job. Yeah, find a job. You're being in the criminal career. Gotta find yourself a job. Money's not just gonna come in on its own. Right, okay, criminal, 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 criminal. Yes, please. Tough guy, yes, that is. Right, so Griffin's got a job. Boris somehow required a quiet a girl but kissed him. She must just be as crazy as him. And Mel is asleep. Great. And Trixie is still in the basement. Yeah, she's still in the basement. Great. That's just great. That's just great. Okay, we kind of need to Boris. Honestly, Boris, I was going to get you in the criminal career, but I think you don't suit that life. I think that's more Griffin's thing. So we're going to find you a job. Um, what What is your job going to be? Mm, find a job. See, I was going to have them all in the criminal career, but they're all too different. I think it's better that they all have separate jobs, but they all just live together. The dysfunctionals. That's what we're going to call them. Right, what suits Boris? Boris is more like... He's a fun geek guy. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want a job that's all like business. He wants to. I mean, we could have him be a substitute teacher. I mean, him randomly talking to himself that could teach the kids a few things. Maybe babysitter. You know what? Yes, he's gonna be a babysitter. Who doesn't want a crazy guy as a babysitter? I hit, and he gets thirty-three quid an hour. He's worth the money. Yeah, Boris, you're a babysitter. Mel, my dear. Mel, um. I don't actually know what job I'm going to get for Mel yet. I think I might leave Mel's job till the next episode. Kind of, You guys can kind of suggest me uh, a job for Mel. Like, I was going to have them all be the criminal in the criminal career, but honestly, Boris is too different. Uh, <laughs> and so is Mel. I think Mel could be, like, the spellcaster of the family. Maybe Griffin could be, like, the, the criminal of the family. 
you know, he's kind of like the father figure to the other two. And he's in a jail. Why are you in a jail cell? What is with you in this jail cell? And he's going down to the basement. I think Griffin is going to like the basement a bit. You have your own bedroom upstairs. You do realise if you get locked in there, you're going to have to do all the laundry. And Trixie's still in the basement. <laughs> Apparently foxes just love basements. They just love basements. Ever see a fox in the wild, guys? You better find them a basement. They need a basement. It's the only thing that keeps them happy. Look. That's a happy fox right there. Boris, what are you doing? Are you still stood outside? You could come in the house, you know. You've got a lovely house over there. And you just stood in the middle of a field. Checking out your phone. Great. Anyway, are there any requirements for your job? Yeah, nope. <sighs> it's simple. It's so simple, Boris can do it. And Mel's still asleep. Oh, it is half ten at night. Okay, I'll let you off. I'll let you off, Mel. Honestly, Griffin, why are you in the in the jail cell? Do you feel like you don't deserve your actual bedroom? Honestly, seriously, I'm not being funny. Griffin has a bedroom. Like, it's... Granted, it's on the third floor. It's a very nice bedroom as well. It's blue. Uh, maybe he doesn't like blue. Maybe he just prefers grey. Maybe I'll have to change the colour. But yeah, Boris... I mean, you don't have work for another two days, so... But you still need your sleep, young man. Come get yourself some sleep. Seriously, Griffin, the the jail cells for prisoners only. Maybe you want to be a prisoner. Maybe you just want to be in prison. Maybe Griffin's just been in prison too many times and he's just too used to it. He's like, I can't sleep unless there are bars by my bed. <laughs> What's Trixie doing? Oh, surprise, surprise. She's still in the basement. Seriously, this fox has a thing about basements. Right, Griffin's task for his work, he has to do m mischief interactions. I mean, the only one awake is the fox. Can we do mischief? Oh no, I don't want him to encourage misbehaviour. I mean, why not? I mean, it's not going to hurt the fox to be a troublesome teen or a troublesome pup. Did you just scare the fox? Please don't scare the fox. Misbehaviour. Does that... That doesn't do anything for his job. If anything, it just makes the fox like basements more. Right, okay, I'm going to have to wake Boris up. Because, I mean, Boris, you don't need sleep. Honest, Honestly, forget that last comment that I said that you needed sleep. Griffin needs to do some mischief interactions on you for his job. So, we're using you as a guinea pig, boy. A mischief. I mean, they don't have to like each other. I mean, they just live together. Um, Invite to fake party. Trick with hand buzzer. Yeah, let's, let's give Boris the hand buzzer treatment. You probably see right through it, but we've got to start somewhere. <laughs> That's it, Boris. Wait there patiently. Wait there patiently to be zapped to death. <laughs> oh, they seem to like that. That was good. He's hungry. But first... No, no, no. Griffin has to do some some work. He He has to do this. This is for his job as a tough guy. Apparently he has to be mischievous. Let's start a rumour. Because I think Boris can be trusted with a rumour. And then more mischief. Let's um, lie about Korea. And one more. Um, let's, uh, I don't know. What's that spot? That seems like a thing Griffin would do. Oh. <laughs> I found a silver coin in a lab. Do you know llamas are on your shirt? Oh my god, jokes. Okay, we just need like one more interaction and we will have done that. Share conspiracy theories. We're going to do that because, I mean, Griffin's a paranoid wreck. Um, but first, one more mischief interaction. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Install false confidence. Yes. I believe in you, Boris. Not. You could fly a kite. <laughs> it's not really a kite, though, is it? <laughs> right, okay. That's great. Uh, okay, Mel's awake now. Why are you all awake at 3am? I mean, Griffin, I get, I was doing, like, a work interaction. Boris was basically the guinea pig for it. Uh, but Mel, why are you awake? Oh, you went to the toilet. Okay, I'm sorry, love. We shall leave you to it. Where are you going? Going to go and get yourself a burger there, sir? They are nice burgers. Who made them? Oh, Mel made them. 
So they may only be a little bit poisonous. Seriously, Griffin. Uh, Griffin. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, Griffin just sleeps in random places in the house except his own room. You have a bed. Go sleep in it. You weirdo. Okay, right. Boris is eating a burger and... Hmm, I wonder what Trixie is doing. Is she still in the basement? Yep, she's still in the basement. Well, I think I'm going to leave this episode of Fox in a Basement here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave a massive uh, thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Give me some suggestions on what we could do with these guys. Um, should Boris pursue his girlfriend or should he just let her go off into the sunset and be free? Um, Griffin, will Griffin ever get to his bedroom? Find out in the next episode of The Dysfunctionals. <laughs> <laughs> and finally guys if you are new to the channel and you haven't yet already please oh please hit that beautiful subscribe button as i am filming this we are at a fabulous and amazing 869 beautiful and fabulous subscriber number thing <laughs> so thank you guys so much for that thank you guys so much for watching and i will see all you beautiful people next monday at five for another video oh bye bye guys oh bye bye <laughs>